Things got sexual real fast. Where was all of that in the first episode? Hey, what's up, B? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'll be reviewing Junketsu no Maria episode 2, or Maria the Virgin Witch, whichever you prefer. But before you watch this video, I highly recommend that you actually watch the episode by following the link in the description below and coming back to this video when you're done. With that being said, let's head into the review. Alright, so this episode started right from the top with a ton, a ton of sexual stuff and I honestly did not see it coming. I mean, there was hints here and there in the first episode, but it wasn't like it was even prominent in the first episode. But now going into the second episode, they just drop this bomb on us. So first we have just, we, fig we, we understand what Succubus and Incubus are. Uh, Succubus is, well, that female owl, and she kind of just goes out there to do generals to stop war literally that is that is what she does but apparently she could not persuade a priest because he was homosexual so maria had to make an incubus which was a male kind of spirit and that's pretty much the first 10 minutes of this anime maria the virgin witch has her succubus and incubus please or have sex with generals and priests to stop wars well shit i did not see that coming i thought it was her just disrupting wars with her magic like we saw in the first episode but clearly that's not the case and it was very prominent in this episode i have no idea why they decided to reinforce that so much in this episode but the way they did it it seems like it might happen in episodes to come because in the second half of the episode we had a complete 180 and we kind of just forgot all about the uh, the sex and uh, we started learning more about um, witches, um, saints, angels and things of that nature. So of course we know that in this era most people are Catholic and they belong to the Catholic Church and they pray to their saints and they believe that God is watching over them and that he does not intervene with them, but they only pray for his protection, knowing that he won't come to save them. However, there was a really cool scene that we saw Anne, or was it it's Anne's granddaughter, or Martha, I don't know her name, god damn it, the little girl. She's just like kind of praying to the God, she's praying to the saints, she's praying to the angels, and then she prays to Maria, and bang, Maria swoops in and goes to save the, the village that's being burnt down, the village that kind of has always accepted her and kind of kept her safe in the woods, not really saying anything, was being pillaged by some French? No, no, they, they are in France. Europeans? I, I don't even remember because I was thinking about something else the whole episode. But she swoops in and kind of saves the people, but as she's in the process of saving the people... She is struck down by an angel, or specifically the Archangel Michael. And he pretty much just tells her, Yo, you can't be doing this. Uh, continue to do this, and I will probably take away your powers or kill you either or. Um, the angel comes down, and him and Maria kind of get into a fight. And it was actually pretty cool. The fight was decent. And you see that the Archangel actually has some goodwill, and he blinds the people that were trying to pillage the village that rhymed. But in the end, you see the true nature of the actual villagers trying to get revenge, but Maria persuades them to just kind of let them go so that they never come back again. But then we, as we are in the process of seeing this fight with Maria and the Archangel, we see that Joseph comes in the clutch. And of course, that's why he's our MVP. The man shot an arrow at an angel. He didn't give a shit who it was. But it was messing with Maria, so he decided to shoot it, and oh my, the man shoots the angel in the arm, or like in the body, and then he's like, 
one move again and I'll shoot you in the head. And I'm just like, yo, Joseph, got some big balls there. I can dig it. But all in all, it was a pretty decent episode. We're kind of getting, with this anime, it's good. It's enjoyable to watch. Um, it has its twist because it took a direction that I was not expecting with all the sex. But it's very enjoyable to watch and we still don't really have a plot going into the second episode. We are given more meaning behind this world that is in kind of chaos and turmoil, that's in war all the time. And we kind of find some deeper meaning in that Maria as a witch kind of hates the gods and she hates angels and she hates saints and all of that. And it's because she says that they watch upon the human beings from above kind of not doing anything. And when the people pray, they still don't do anything. They just continue to watch. The people say that they watch over them, but Maria tends to argue that they just kind of watch and they don't do anything. They just kind of babysit them. And that's her problem with them, that when they have the power to do something, they decide not to. But we see the other side of the story where the Archangel explains that, well, if you think you're actually helping, Besides this village that's being pillaged, I can't even, the tongue twisters, the tongue twisters, there's also a village to the west being raped, there's also a village to the to the north that's being burned down, it's just like, okay, like, damn, there's a lot of bad stuff happening, but at least Maria can help one of these people and not just let them all die. So that's kind of the deeper meaning that we're getting behind this anime, the conflict between the witch Maria trying to help people and the angels and God kind of just letting things be and not interfering with the matters of this world. But like I said, all in all, it's pretty decent. We still don't have a clear plot. Like, there hasn't been said anything. This is what we want to accomplish. And this is what we're going to do to do that. We haven't really gotten any of that. It's kind of just been, like, episodic in where Maria just does her things and we watch. But still, I'm really enjoying this anime. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as well as let me know who your MVP is. Mine, of course, is Joseph. The man came in the clutch. He shot an arrow at an angel that takes some balls. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.